new version here. Let's check this out. Let's go pause. I always like that pause. Whoa. Okay, okay. Ooh, I like that. That we're getting into. That's cool. Yeah, got some nice stuff. And the toes, that's great. You got your compression there. I think what you could do. So you don't quite have it. I would push it here. Because it's a really big transfer of weight through all of that. It'd be nice to have a bit more of a compression with maybe like a side roll pipping off of here just a bit more just taking away that that curse of an ik foot where you can see that clean break and everything is moving but doesn't quite have that much effect on here because it doesn't help that they're also huge feet so it would be good to have that this is cool here it's a bit sharp on the up once that foot goes up, you can see that here, right through there. It's fairly big in terms of spacing. And then suddenly it gets kind of slow through there. Watch this in real time. Boop, right there. It feels a little bit of a pop up. Not like a like one frame sudden pop, but there's a bit of a fast move through there and then a slowness. I do like the change of you know, the speed and then through there and then through there it gives you a nice little feel of texture where it's just different and it's not slow and spliny. But it just feels a bit like it's sticky and then it pops off and then we get to the actual move. Just watch out for that. And then here I would overlap the action just a bit more and then offset the animation on the toes. As in, you're doing a turn. You can see that the rotation in the foot stop the rotation and now it's just planting down and i would do this a bit more where it could start to plant down here and then as it goes down you kind of finish like you'd almost be pivoting off the heel finishing the overall foot rotation and then it will potentially since it's pivoting off of here compressing these fingers first and then they end just a bit even if it's a frame or two so it doesn't feel like well i just selected all toes rotate up rotate down so they're a bit more offset These guys feel a bit wobbly there. Like your toe suddenly has a one frame boop, move down. And then you got the same thing on the toes here. Watch out there. Kind of go down and then they pop down a bit sharper. And they suddenly, especially if that pinky pop up into that. And then you got a big one frame change from here to here. And get all of these would give that a bit of an offset and then your foot here goes up up then it's a, a fairly sudden big move here in that heel and then from here to here that's a sudden pop there and that not that it has to be all super smooth i do get it but visually it's a bit sharp just watch out for moments like that And then you have another thing here. Again, it's just because we're so close, like it's just final polish where it just feels like it's a foot roll that just gets dialed in in one axis and then suddenly you have that turn and that would overlap those actions a bit more. So during that foot roll, it's already pivoting off the heel into, into this sideways move. Again, watch out spacing wise. This feels a bit sharp. So you're going up, 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 bam, and then slow. And you can see this here with the heel here, here, bam, over here. And then visually, it's almost on the same plane. Just that little one frame move through there. And then I will bring this a bit lower sooner. It feels like we are still up in the air. And this is already going down 
here and compressing, but it doesn't quite feel like we're, we're not on the ground just yet. Why is this already coming down and compressing, if that makes sense? So you don't, you wouldn't have to be that high so that by now we already feel like it's on the ground. It feels like we are still hovering and then we're ending on this on the same frame. This is down, this is rotated down, and then the fingers are spreading out for compression all on the same frame-ish. That's what it feels like. I'm not saying it's all happening on the same frame. It feels like a very soft step there. It's just the painful parts of polish. Same thing on this foot. There's something where we come over and then you have a bit of a drop straight right through there. So you can look at some of those areas here. I mean, you can look at this as you come down. So I'm going to come down here. And then after that, you're so straight here, right through there. You can see that change. So make sure it's a bit smoother. Just kind of feeling that IK leg going straight there. Tiny, tiny things. This feels a bit even in timing from here to here. More. Just give that a bit more texture. Again, watch out that it's not like slow, slow, fast, slow, 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 slow. Still. Not having you know too many hiccups in there, but that just feels a bit too mechanically even in terms of timing. And I think the same thing with the scratching here. It's gonna push away from the reference if that you know if they're moving like that, but give this a bit of a sharper scratch, maybe in the first two here digits. Hold on, not this, but the onion screening has to go away. There you go. So you, it doesn't feel like you grab all the fingers and you rotate them down all at the same time even here even though the fanning out feels like grouped and one more which is nice but i would push that a bit more maybe one a bit more the pinky in a bit more but offset those rotations and just giving that scratch a bit of a harsher feel right this feels very soft and spliny through there kind of push that a bit more and then watch out that you don't have a, it feels a bit like that move of that forearm to here and then the stop. The rotation of this is kind of timed at the same time, meaning it's very post to pose from here with this to there, we're stopping and now it's angled like this. And it gives it a bit of a, I'm moving that forearm out and I'm countering with that wrist at the same time feel, if that makes sense making this a bit of an IK looking hand and arm there. Cool details though in the shoulder and the chest. Yeah, it just feels a bit soft. I think you can give, give this a bit of a, a bit of a harsher, a bit more realistic scratch. And because you want to feel that contact of the finger on the head. It just feels a bit like that, that arm is floating. It feels a bit better through there. But that contact there just feels a Bit soft. Alrighty. So close. So close. Thanks. Alright. There's an email. You can sign up. You can start whenever you want. You can submit whenever you want. You get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. Alright. Thank you.